Here you go. I'll get that for you. No, no, no. You get, okay, you're gonna yeah, take you it. don't want. Yeah, I got All right. it. It's on. Okay. And there's nobody here. Hello. Hello. Hi. How are you? Hi. Hi. How are you? <laughs> oh my you didn't know, did you? <laughs> Hey, this morning, Terry, Kevin, and I are at the Winter Park Laser and Anti-Aging Center. We're here to get facials today. Uh, I'm having a peel. Uh, they're having facials. But what we're going to do is be asking questions about why is this a doing my good and get the info out for you. Okay? So join us. Come on in. So All right. we're going to be doing a VI peel today for you today, right? Yes. I'm going to show your for pretty you face. Before we do the peel today? No, this is not my first time. Okay. So you know what? Here's well, a. It was here, someone's first time. Well, that's. I was actually going to ask though. Yeah, is sure. How often somebody should? Yeah. Well, today you're going to do the VIP. Do you want me to look at you or at the camera? <laughs> um. You know what? You can look right at the camera okay. or me. Really, whatever like is comfortable. Both. Your face is so handsome. So Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, hey. That's going to be included. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> So a VI peel is one of our stronger peels, um, and as you know, because you've done peels before, mm -hmm. the benefits are evening out of pigment that we get from the sun, plumping up some of the fine lines and wrinkles. Um, people who have excess oil or acne is mm -hmm. also great for as well. Um, this peel is TCA, phenol, vitamin C, resorcinol, mm -hmm. retinol, so all the great ingredients for cell turnover, right? And I always explain to my clients that a peel is not just a one and done, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, it is a just, process. Yeah, it just doesn't mm -hmm. live on the surface. Yes, there's the layers. The layer is down low, and mm -hmm. a chemical peel is doing more than just turning over the cells. It's mm -hmm. actually going in and correcting some of that chemical conversation in mm -hmm. the bottle mm -hmm. that's been damaged by the sun or from age. Not that any of us are aging in here. <laughs> <laughs> um, so well, for we, you, it's We overall. are anti-aging. That's, that's right. right. We are right. anti. Yeah. This is a war, yeah, and right. we, we do not accept it. We <laughs> don't accept it. We're I accepting the challenge. I love it. So you can expect, as you know with this peel, um, definitely some mild flaking, maybe more peeling I than have, dry skin. I always peel really well. Yeah, this one's yes. great. And you're opting mm -hmm. to do the booster with this one, which makes yes. it a little bit stronger as well. So this peel has two boosters actually available. Mm -hmm. One that makes it just a stronger peel, so mm -hmm. it's more of the peel ingredient, giving you more layers. Deeper layers. Deeper okay. layers, yep. And then the other one has hydroquinone in it, mm -hmm. which is for people who are really struggling with stubborn pigment. Okay. So Which I don't have. You don't really have for you. I like the idea of a stronger peel mm -hmm. just so we get more cell turnover. I'm right? all for Helping that. with those fine lines that you know mm -hmm. that are not there. Okay. But we're preventing them from being there. Yes. yes right? Yes. Now, my last question, because yeah. I understand our time is limited, is I'm having this done, mm -hmm. and it sounds like a great idea for everybody, ah. but it's not, is it? Well, is, there any, actually, <laughs> is there any type of profile that would not benefit from a peel like this? That's so funny that Kevin you Kevin has asked. no idea why I went over there. Uh, well, it's actually great for a lot of skin conditions, like I mentioned already. Mm -hmm. And this particular one, I can use on all Fitzpatrick. Meaning what? on many, yes, on many skin tones. Oh, so. so there are certain peels that mm. are not good for certain skin tones. Yes, well, like his and, peel today is great for him. Right, exactly. Okay. Um, but here's the thing: there are peels of all strengths yes. and peels with different ingredients. Mm -hmm. So that's why you talk to a trained professional who's licensed to yes. know exactly which one you're going to need. And I cannot stress that enough. Yeah. So this peel does come with. A take-home kit, right? Yes. So you're to use only these products for the next week. Um, what's in here? I know you have lots of great Skin Medica products, mm -hmm. but this has a wipe that you're going to use on your skin four hours post peel. Yes. And then you're going to do that again before bedtime, and then you're going to finish up with the lotion. The instructions are in there. You've done it before, mm -hmm. but just kind of going over it that you're not going to get your face wet um, for the next four hours. Thank you. For and I actually me. don't put sunscreen or anything on you post treatment, so just stay cool, stay out of stay the sun. Stay out of the sun. Yep, mm -hmm. out of the sun. And that is actually going to stay for the next 48 hours. No excessive sweating, mm -hmm. um, as the peel does live in your skin and it's self-neutralizing. So okay, I'm going to just let it calm. Just stay let there. it calm, mm -hmm. yep. And um, you can expect to start peeling some as early as tomorrow, some people. Some mm -hmm. people don't start peeling until day two. I'm usually on day three. Yep. Mm -hmm. 
And that could just mean that you have a little bit more oil under the surface and your mm. skin is not peeling as fast. Interesting. Well, yeah. which is a, I would take that as a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> more oil means less wrinkles. Right? Yes. Yeah, so that's, that's my. All right. That's my DNA. Now I won't be so upset about my oily face. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, for your comfort and also to blow away some of the smell of the chemicals that you're yes. in. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Which is why you go to an expert. Uh, uh, trust an expert with your skin. Mm. That's, uh, right. that's for sure. Uh, so the booster comes in its own little vial and actually gets mixed right into your peel, so it's not something I add to you separately. Mm -hmm. um, so this is my wipe to degrease you. I remember it smells. I have sunscreen. And stuff <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. It'll take all that off, so the peel's yeah. not biting through any of your natural yes. oils. Most people say this peel is very easy to tolerate, uh, even though it is one of the stronger ones. Mm -hmm. uh, there's an ingredient in here that actually is a topical numbing. So even though I'm doing a relatively strong peel, you're feeling very mild discomfort. Now, question for you. Yeah. You know how some guys are super sensitive to getting a shave? For the average guy, how, how soon before this VI peel should they shave? Uh, I don't like the idea of shaving same morning just ah. because like you said, some people are more sensitive. I won't say until the weekend. Yeah, some, yeah. Yeah, Actually, so, I think more men are. Yeah, I would say, are. and case in point, most get razor burn, right? Mm -hmm. um, so we just want to not take any chances and let the, the peel strong enough. Maybe we, the night before, because guys be don't fine. normally shave at night, but yep. maybe that would be good. Um, I know some people have professional careers, so they have to always have clean shave. Mm -hmm. But again, we're getting a peel, a yeah. treatment that you have to plan for. So yes. plan it appropriately for days yes. when you can maybe have a little downtime. Obviously. Yes, definitely. So this gets that's applied a uh, with a gauze, <laughs> and we're going to use all of this that's in his little container. Uh, and what you'll notice is that I do really light pressure to start, and then I'm really going to go after it and give you a good scrub down. Okay. Um, and you're going to be a nice color of bronze from the treatment. Okay. Hey, I always like color. <laughs> exactly. This is the only kind of sun look that I approve, mm. <laughs> this bronze. So as you can see, I'm kind of just getting it all mm -hmm. applied evenly, applying to the neck too, because guess what? One of the first ways I can tell somebody who is aging mm -hmm. is they have not taken care of their neck yes. skin. I wish all I had All this area care gets exposure me. to sun on a daily yes. basis. Yes. So really important yeah. to apply your serums, mm -hmm. your sunscreen, everything down onto that neck area. Good, okay, so it's fine. I'm not answering your questions. Thank you, Amy. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, go ahead and curl on there for me. Uh, you're here for comfort, so you're cozy. You're going to be here for an hour. Yes. He is doing a clinical facial, and mm -hmm. the difference between a facial here and, say, like at a spa, mm -hmm. is we really focus on clearing out and cleaning up the skin. Yes. Not just a series of masks and mm -hmm. massage. There are relaxing aspects yes. to it. But, but we don't really need that focus relaxation. We're really going to focus on extractions um, and getting all his pores cleaned out, because as we know, pores don't have muscles. So mm -hmm. if we let the oil stay in there and stretch out the pore, that's why we have enlarged looking pores. So oh, facials no still have a home in our routine because we want to make sure those pores aren't getting stretched out, okay? Mm -hmm. So that already knows, and we've done facials with you before, so yes. you know how fun. So we're going to see you mashing pimples. Yes. <laughs> so the first process... Hey, you talk like there's a lot going on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we're going to steam him and put some things to soften the oil in his skin first, and that's going to take about five to ten minutes just to get those pores nice and soft. Um, like I said, the steam is not to open the pores, mm -hmm. it's more to soften what's in there so it comes out easier. Um, just looking at your skin, I've treated you before, so I already know what I'm looking at, um, know what kind of products I'm going to grab. You're doing a good job. Mm -hmm. I mean, we still, everybody, I'm like, if you don't have blackheads on your nose, I think you're a robot most that, of the time. <laughs> I mean, everybody has them, so mm -hmm. it's you're still going to get some really good cleanup, but that's that's really great improvement. That's where I get attacked the most. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm just going to be applying an enzyme on his skin. Um, this is basically to digest some of the dead skin on the surface, and then I will massage it further with the steam hitting him. This is that nice relaxing. Yeah, this is the good part. This is where he likes me. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are still friends yeah, at this right. point. Yep. Yes. I make him laugh though, even during extraction, mm -hmm. so it's all good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So you are extracting, cleaning out his pores, mm -hmm. and then it's his job to follow your advice yeah. to minimize the need for having this done. Yeah, so he has done a really good job, and you can see the enzyme starting to pill up. It's not his skin, it's the, the product that I use, so mm -hmm. not to think that it's peeling off his skin. Um, yeah, so facial is part of his skincare maintenance. Remember I talked about yes. beauty budget? Basically, there are going to be various things depending on what your goal is. 
but there's always room for a facial. There's always time where you're gonna need to get some of the oil plugs out. Maybe it's summer and you're wearing a lot more sunscreen, you've been sweaty, you've been hot. Certainly the time. I like to think of summer as our maintenance time mm -hmm. and the cooler months as when we're really treating and trying to correct. How long is the average facial like this type? Our facials typically are about an hour in length uh, because you have to give appropriate amount of time to prep the skin. Mm -hmm. um, and what sets us apart here is, like I said, we are actually going to clean the skin out. Extractions aren't just five minutes. Sometimes I'll take 20, 30 minutes of actual extracting. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have what's called a dermophile, which is, um, think of it as a fancy file with medical grade crushed diamonds. So it's a uh, microdermabrasion, but without suction. So after a facial, it's gentle enough, but really effective for getting rid of all the rest of the dead skin that might be on the surface. Mm. And then you get some mask, warm towel, serums, and some good sunscreen, of course. So just all of this you've been doing so far is just to prep it? Yep, just mm -hmm. to prep the skin, get it ready. Like I said, soften the plugs that are in uh, his skin so that hopefully they will come out a lot easier and I don't have to put as much pressure on him. A lot of people come at their skin with dirty fingernails, mm. and, and I've shown him this before too, and I, I kind of want to show you, uh, mm -hmm. so give me your hand here. So a lot of people say this mark is a pimple, right? Mm -hmm. What they do is they come at it like this and they're pushing yes, their skin up, yes, right? And, they're and then they're just driving that oil further down into the pore. Mm -hmm. uh, where the tools I use, uh, here we use what's called a sonic spatula. This part is going to vibrate sonically and then I'm going to ah. press it into the skin so it's wiggling that plug up and out a lot easier. That's neat. Um, and instead of just getting one at a time, I can get several out, which mm -hmm. he thanks me for greatly when I'm working Ooh, on yes. his nose. So yes. we're going to go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm just going to start over here on the side and you can just oh, see there it is. right away. He is a great example of, you know, facials for maintenance, just wow. getting that oil. You should see this, Kevin. Well, oh. actually, he will for he the first will. time. He's, he's, he's never seen it. So there we go. That's just one that little pass. Little pass. Mm -hmm. exactly. I can see that it has stopped, that the stuff is no longer coming out where mm -hmm. you've been. Mm -hmm. That is a cool thing. Yeah. And how's the pressure? I mean, does it oh, hurt? It's perfect. It's perfect. It's, it's the thing I, I like about this tool is because I am kind of getting more even pressure versus mm -hmm. some of those little tools, which mm -hmm. sometimes yes, I have to which use. which I've seen. But then that would be those for are, like a hard-edged oh, black hat or something. Yeah, or something that's super tiny that I need to really pinpoint. Mm -hmm. um, but this is just even pressure on the nose, this so it hurts so cool. a lot less. And the vibration, like you can see, I'm barely pressing yes. and it's vibrating the oil up and out. And always with skin, the more gentle, yes. the better. Less inflammation. Mm -hmm. This makes the facial go faster. Again, less inflammation. And I'm going to show you what Amy is looking through. She's looking through a giant magnifying glass. So yeah. she must see something really amazing. <laughs> I see it all. Yes. Can't hide from me. The good, the bad, and the ugly. <laughs> So fascinating. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Amy. You're welcome. Let's get in here. Still got a muscle. <laughs> so we got to the end of the video and realized we didn't really have an ending. So the happy ending is that this is us about 10 to 14 days after that. I think it's been about yes. two weeks maybe. Yes. And our faces are healed. So mine has healed from the peel. His is more than healed. I feel um, amazing. My facial. face feels clean. Um, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you mm -hmm. to the wonderful staff at Winter Park Laser and Anti-Aging Center. Especially Amy. Definitely Especially Amy. Especially Amy. We thank he got you. so many compliments. Like in the days and the week afterwards, I was constantly hearing comments about yes. it. So it works. Keep it up. Make that budget. Do it. And remember to like, comment, and subscribe to Kevin and Mike. All right. All right. Have an awesome day. On purpose. We hope you enjoyed this video. There we go. All right, guys. Bye-bye. Hey there. This morning, we're at the Winter Park Laser and Anti-Aging Center. This morning, Terry, Kevin, and I are at the Winter Park Laser and Anti-Aging Center. We're here to get facials today, 